Good morning, how are you today? We are off, as you can see, another wonderful blue sky day here in Turkey. I feel like that's been my default um, introduction to the vlogs for the last couple of days. We are going down to the beach, but we're gonna try. I've just been talking to Linda. She was saying, I was talking to my mum the other day on the phone, and she was saying about um, the, the lagoon, and we drove there on like our first day when we very first arrived, but I kind of, we haven't been down there since. I couldn't remember like how far it was and what the thing, what the deal was, so. You remember it now. We've just been talking to London, she said it's lovely down there, there's like some beaches and things. No. Man so the man that's on his phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, when she showed up. Yeah, yeah, there's a man driving and he was on his phone. I don't know what that word and she means. went she said I think it was like F off or something. But anyway, um we're gonna get the bus down to the beach and then like walk along there. Go somewhere a little bit different because I feel like we've kind of done all of the nice beach now, quite a few days. Um wow, look at that mountain, let me show you can't really see it like no that one there you can't really see it that massive that you can't really see it that good on the phone but wow it's so beautiful around here so anyway yeah all of these beach and then head down have a little look at the lagoon Stephen's got his favorite little and even though we've got you think he would be sick of cats and dogs by living with like 30 cats and five dogs or whatever it is that we're living with but there's like some dogs that live here and some cats and he always has a little cat yeah. Oh, she likes the cat that lives there. She's looking at you. <laughs> We've arrived, so normally we just go to the beach there, but we're gonna have a little walk down here. If we went left, that would just take us further along the beach. We're gonna go right, and it kind of takes you up and round to like a little lagoon. We're gonna have a little look. It may be rubbish, but we'll just have a little look. Stephen's not that impressed with going, are you? No. <laughs> you just wanted to get off the bus and go to the beach, I think. Take your top off. Oh, uh, we just saw, look, this little turtle. If I, I, the day we saw a different one, I wasn't vlogging. Up by the house. And look, this little guy. Hey, I tell you what, he's a little fast thing, isn't he? He was just in the middle of the road and that white car that you just saw going that way. Oh, look, he just looked, um yeah. just moved him out of the way of the side of the road. Yeah. He is so fast. Uh, is, that in, is that in your way? Oh. Oh look, you got through. Look at him. Oh, go further along and then I'll lift it up for him so we can get through. Oh, there you go. Three. Yay! Not fast anymore. Oh, it's too full. I mean, he's, he's quite big as well, isn't he? Like he's not as big as the other one, but he's still big. He's, he's quite tiny for the other one. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Let's continue our walk. We're still walking. It's further than we thought, but it's a nice walk. Okay, we found this first little place, Sugar Beach Club. It's called, and. It's kind of like a bar, restaurant type thing, but you can get beach access for free. I'm kind of surprised that it looks like a it looks like a norm looks like sand. Oh whoa! Oh look! Oh this is not this is quite nice actually. Is it sand? Oh my god! I think it's sand. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like. We've walked down. It's, it, I mean, it's not really beach. Well, it is the beach. I mean, it's the beach. But it's kind of like a lagoon, really. What do you think? It's called the lagoon. It's not. It is. Sunset Beach or whatever. I don't know. Sugar. Sugar Beach, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Should we stay or should we move? Should we go? You don't like it here. Oh, Stephen's not impressed.
not a massive fan of it here, so I think we might just head back to the beach. I think it's quite nice, but I kind of I get what he means. It's not. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'd rather just be at the beach. Decided because uh, we haven't eaten again. It's got to like two o'clockish, and we haven't eaten. Probably can't hear because it's quite noisy here. Uh, but we instead of going to the beach, we decided just to come and get some food first. So we're just having a little quick backgammon game. Just literally just set up, and then we're gonna head to the beach after. So we had our lunch. <laughs> Bless you. And we're getting to the beach very late compared to what we thought we we're gonna be. It's like four o'clockish now. But honestly, it is really really warm today. Not complaining. I love it, but you know when you don't really want to be down at the beach at like peak, peak sun, so it's probably better that we went down, sat in the shade for a little bit, sat in the sun for a bit, had a little FaceTime with my mum, and we're going to head to the beach. Now this is sun is, I mean, it's not doing anything wrong, it's still boiling, boiling hot, but yeah, we're going to the hole, okay. I kind of want to go in the sea. It might actually be warm, like yesterday that it was freezing. Sure? We've had two or three really warm days now, so the sea might have might have warmed up a little bit. So, oh god. I think I'm gonna go in the sea. Stephen probably won't because he's a big old wimp. I think I'm gonna go cold? in the sea. <laughs> it's what? It's too cold. It's too cold. I mean don't get it, it is cold, but it's not unbearably cold. Anyway. Right, you're gonna test it out now? Okay, well, I'm gonna go and test it out. Let's see. I mean, oh, there's no doubt it's, it's gonna be chill. Oh, yeah. Very, very chilly. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna try and be all like, oh, yeah, no, no, it's not that cold, but yeah, it, it's pretty cold. Let's see. But it's nice though. But it's so. Ooh. No, it is quite nice. Do you wanna go in? I really want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in anyway. home now we've been back at home for quite a while i got my jumper on because oh my goodness the state of my face in this light this honestly i mean it's so pretty you can't really it's not going to show no it just looks completely overexposed in this light but it's just beautiful blue yellow pink purpley skies out there i think we are going to go i've just been Sorting out, I've been chatting to my brother-in-law about potentially picking us up from the airport. Have I told you about going home? I don't know if I have. I think, yeah, we're going to go home for Easter for a week. No, not for a week, but for a couple of weeks, I think. We're going to go back to England for a little bit. So I've just been chatting to my brother-in-law brother about picking us up from the airport, which he can do, which is fantastic. Thank you so much if you're watching. And then chill out for the evening, really. Maybe watch a episode of Blacklist from on Netflix or something if you haven't seen Netflix. If you haven't seen Netflix, if you haven't seen Blacklist. 
yeah it's like an fbi thing i think i mentioned it on yesterday's vlog cars we're flying from turkey to the uk the new government guidelines have come in about um electronics so if you follow me on instagram or, or anything in twitter facebook you will have heard me complaining and moaning about this for the last two days or so since they mentioned it i think um turkey to the uk now you cannot put um laptops and to the us actually uh, laptops and anything bigger than a like a, a phone can't go on with you it has to be checked in and to hold it's like that's crazy so i'm gonna have to check in my mac two ipads <sighs> you've seen but we've all seen baggage handlers how they throw things around. I mean, we all we can do, it's one of them where I was like, I was fuming, not fuming, but I was just really pissed off at first. And I was like, oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. And I've kind of just accepted it now and thought, well, do you know what? All I can do is, people are saying, oh, what am I going to do on the flight? That's not my issue about what am I going to do. Like, normally on flights, I would like do editing and things. So yes, it is a slight pain in the arse in terms of that respect. But that's not the main thing. The main thing for me is that I'm going to check in a Mac and two iPads, that's like two grand, at least it's just two grand worth of stuff that I am not insured for. It will get probably broken because it's been thrown around by the baggage handlers or stolen or something. Or it, To me it just seems... Well, I have, I have my own view on the... I don't believe the reasons that they're telling us. It's, it's, but anyway... I'll um I'll leave it at that, but that is just annoying that um we're gonna have to check in those things, and that could kind of just wrap up our whole kind of turkey journey because we started off on a really bad note, and loads of sort of bad things have happened whilst we've been here. Is that the mosque? I didn't know that was your video. <laughs> That's the mosque outside. Um, yeah, it started off on a bad note, and then it's gradually sort of got better. And what would just top it off is getting home and like my Mac being smashed and our two iPads being smashed and whatever. And yeah, that would just completely <laughs> just top off our turkey trip, to be honest. But I mean, if we've got to check it in, we've got to check it in. There's nothing we can do about that. 